Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. It's Easter Sunday, 31st of March. Um, and I woke up to a lot of new scrubs for me. It's a lot, which really warms my heart that you like the content. And I've also been on the content grind in these past days where I've been off. And I think I found a structure for when I'm busy so I still can upload. So I'm thinking one vlog per week and then one short. A week as well that's realistic and then when i'm off i can do more like now and i'm a quite small channel so just in two days i gained eight subscribers and that's a lot for me you really made my morning just to see that you actually like it and i'm not doing it for others i'm doing it for myself but of course i'm happy when you like it as well i enjoy watching just regular vlogs of people living their lives nothing fancy or people living abroad <laughs> But other than that, it's gonna be a chill day. I'm gonna prepare two workout programs. I have a client tomorrow and I'm gonna prank her. It's April Fool's Day. And the first session, it was kind of like a test to see where I strength now. We're gonna do it in six weeks and in 12 weeks to see the progress. And it was a tough one. And I made it tough on purpose because it was supposed to see how much until you get pressured. Um, so I kind of know where you are. So I'm going to prank it tomorrow and I was like, yeah, we're just going to do the same as last time because that was a hard one for her. <laughs> also, because if you haven't exercised in the gym for six months, it's going to be hard no matter what shape or size you are. It's just going to be difficult um, for everybody. I think I'm going to pull a prank on her just to see. <laughs> it's April Fool's Day. You have to. <laughs> but I'm going to go to the gym today just for myself. I'm going to run five kilometers and I'm waiting on purpose to wait to go to the gym at least to after lunch because then i hope there are fewer people there have been so many people doing easter holiday they haven't been out traveling um and i want to do one tiktok i have seen where, like the one i talked about a few days ago the banana one <laughs> um but i'm not gonna do it if it's a full gym i want to respect people's privacy and it's a small town and people are not used to seeing other film in the gym so i want to be respectful of that and choose a time where there's not so many people and then i hope my favorite treadmill is available as well but we're gonna make some lunch first and i'm gonna make a sandwich and it has some chickpeas um that i want to use because i don't think they're good tomorrow and so somebody make egg salad which sounds so nice i do have eggs but i thought maybe i can mash the chickpeas and make like chickpea salad with that i have some um, sour cream and i also got some chili mayo to season it with and of course salt pepper so i think we're gonna try to go for that um so let's make lunch and then i think i'm gonna walk to the gym it's not raining today it was it's been the shittiest weather <laughs> like the last couple of days it's been raining so hard so i'm kind of like am i shooting myself in the foot by walking it's just nice to get some fresh air and also get my steps in. I know I get my steps in if I run, but you know, just like getting some extra steps. Let's see if it starts raining when I need to go and take the bike <laughs> because it's faster. Just came home from the gym. I decided to take the bus, you can tell. I just came home from the gym, I'm so red. And my hair is all gross. It's like, it, it was so sweaty, I could, like it was dripping. It was not even a joke. <laughs> So I need to wash it all over again, but it's okay. I'm going to wash it because I cannot go to work with this hair tomorrow. I'll just go to bed and sleep on my clean pillows. That's it. No, I didn't film TikTok because while running, I felt like I had really good legs and just kept on continuing and then I forgot. Um, I did 12 and a half kilometer, but I needed to take a break at 10 because my feet want not both um, the right one was hurting so much at the side and i was kind of not stable in my shoes because i didn't tie it tight enough so remember to tie your shoes properly before running long then i could continue two and a half and then it started to burn because my skin have been rubbing at one side for like 10 kilometers which was my own fault and i only needed 500 meters then i hit 13 
but it, it's still my longest one yet. My previous one was 12 and now 12 and a half. So we're slowly creeping up there. Um, I need to do at least one, one run of 21 kilometers before my half marathon, because I hope I can do it in two hours and 40 minutes. That's my goal. Last year I did it in two hours and 53 minutes, but after 10 kilometers, well, first of all, I drank too much water at the beginning, so I sprinted the first five because I needed to pee so bad. I was so close to pee myself. <sighs> then I didn't put my shorts on properly, so my thighs, my thighs chafed and it hurt so bad, but you know, it is what it is because it was sweaty and warm. Then at 10K, I got, my feet were starting to hurt so bad, like real bad. And I found out later I had five blisters under each foot, so 10 in total. And they were under my foot where you step all the time and they were big. So no wonder it hurt so bad, but I did finish it. Five minutes, no, seven minutes before closing the race down, you have three hours in total. So this year we're better prepared, we know what we're getting into. So I need to actually get those socks where you don't um, move in your shoes. Because when you get sweaty, your feet kind of tend to not be as stable because friction. Um, so I need, I need that. And I need to figure out if I want to wear shorts or long pants. I'm kind of thinking of long pants because I'm, I was kind of thinking about buying a new pair from Ida just so I have another pair. I was thinking maybe in black. I know you sweat a lot, so it doesn't really matter if you can see or not. And I don't have any black tights and I actually need that for personal training. They prefer black. I never use them because I don't have them. And then I won't have to think about the shorts rolling up and thighs rubbing against each other. Uh, so I need to figure out that and I want a belt for my phone and stuff. I was thinking about buying this really fancy running vest, but those are inexpensive. I may still do it. I will see. It's just the thing is, if you wear a belt, does it stay or does it jump up and down and be all annoying? <laughs> I need something for my stuff. And I think when I'm starting to train now and run more than 10, I need to figure out with the energy and gel because I felt quite lightheaded afterwards. I did get an energy drink, but I need some more energy stuff. Even though I'm not a fan of the gels, I think I, I, need, to, I need to be done with it. <laughs> So I think I actually buy one for my next long run. But yeah, we need to get a shower and then I can uh, do my two programs for personal training and then I'm off for the rest of the night. Also, I got my Sephora package today. I got my blush. I'm not going to wear it today because I'm sweaty and I just want to clean my face, take all of this off. But I think tomorrow um, for personal training because I'm not the one training. So um, because the place they put the package in, I thought they were closed. And when I walked by and I had a sign, I was like, what the heck? Let's try and see if I can get it. And it's so nicely wrapped. I actually never buy from Sephora that often because in Denmark, we actually don't have a lot of these stores. <laughs> okay, so much paper for my package that is this big. <laughs> That's a bit of a waste. But I just ordered one thing because makeup is expensive. I ordered this blush, uh, blush. <laughs> makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumbing Blush Veil. That was quite a mouthful. And I ordered it in the color. Does it focus? No, it didn't. Okay, just peachy. Here she is. It's actually quite big. Okay, I didn't realize it is a cream blush, which is totally fine. I just put a little bit on my hands and I don't know if you can see, it kind of looks sun-kissed. Um, so if you're pale, buy peachy, then peachy blushes, because it will kind of give you a sun-kissed look. Good morning, it's Monday, 1st of April. Just got ready, I need to leave in eight minutes. <laughs> I'm going to the gym because I have a client who has session at 8.30. And instead of taking the bus or anything, because it doesn't go this early, I'm gonna walk over there and walk back home. I think it's two and a half kilometers each way. So that's gonna be my exercise today. My stomach is just, my periods is due this week. 
so I can feel it on my tummy. Um, my nose is so itchy. I also did the new blush. I didn't take too much on. I think it's more vibrant in real life. I feel like I kind of get washed out in these uh, bathroom lights, but I do really like it. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna get going, eat my breakfast over there because it's 7 13 right now and it's a little too early for me to get breakfast. So I'll see you in a bit. I don't know if you can tell, it's so dark and gray behind me. It's spring, it's the 1st of April and this is Denmark. <laughs> but it's also a little over seven, so hopefully sun will come out later. guys i just came back home it's soon to be eight but it's still pretty light outside as you can see i had a client at the gym before getting home and then i picked up a package as well i ordered some vitamins um in gummy bear form because if you have so many pills you need to swallow it's just not fun i can do it i don't have like a bad gag reflex but in gummy form it at least reminds you more of candy instead of vitamins <laughs> and i got it for my vitamins from um, i think was it my protein actually i found it uh, these two it was two for one the first one is with collagen um just to try it and it's good for your skin especially when you're getting older which we all are at some point um so i thought i wanted to try it on it's also vitamin c in it so I wanted to try it actually, and I don't know if you can see it through, but they got me from, which I like. The other one I want to try out is apple cider vinegar. Then you don't have to drink <laughs> the drink in the morning, which to me tastes so foul, I cannot get it down. And the reason I bought this is not weight loss in a pill. <laughs> um, the reason I bought this was that they said it could help with bloating, which I definitely do get, especially from certain foods and it helped with normal blood glucose levels so it could help with the sugar cravings as well and i want to try it out to see if it could reduce my sugar cravings of course that can lead to weight loss but it's not a given and i'm here mostly for the bloating i want to try it out to see if it actually works um of course i need to try it more than 30 days to actually see a real effect but i just started with one also the gummies are really Big. It's not like those tiny ones. They're actually quite huge and it's only like half full, but it's for 30 days in each. And these actually smell quite nice. These on the hand do not smell nice, but doesn't mean the taste is awful. Okay, let's try them out. Then I at least got the vitamins today. Vitamins, vitamins, I don't know how you say it. Like imagine your morning supplements look like this, like candy. That's how adult I am. Okay, so this is the collagen one, the round, more squishy, and the big is apple cider vinegar. So let's try the collagen, the bad smelling one, in my opinion. I think it smells not good, but doesn't taste of much. Mmm, mm, pomegranate. Much nice taste. It tastes way better as well. Then we have the apple cider vinegar, and it says it should only smell like, or taste like apple, not the vinegar part. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, those two, those taste noise. And they are vegan friendly. Okay, if these are good, then I might order for two months. I like the packaging. This was actually quite nice, both in flavor and texture. I really like them. So let's see. If vitamins looks like gummies, it's easier to take. Just, that's how it is. But let's make some very late dinner. Gonna make an egg salad for my bread and add some salad on it. And then I have a vegan chocolate pudding thing for dessert. And I don't buy it because it's vegan. I buy it because it actually tastes like really nice and it's not too bad for you. So this is going to be dinner. I already prepped some egg. I need to peel it and make it to egg salad and then I can add it. And those flatbreads with some green as well, some salad. This was a very <laughs> quick dinner, um, but I just needed something light and simple today. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.